Hello and welcome to this tutorial on character design for animation. I'll be showing you the different processes I go through in creating a character specifically for traditional hand-drawn animation. Uh, in this case, for digital animation as I will be doing this all digitally. I will be using Autodesk Sketchbook Pro for this demonstration. I won't be talking about how to use Sketchbook Pro but you can use whatever drawing software that suits you or even just a pencil and paper. Before we begin, I'd like to discuss with you a few things we need to consider when designing characters for animation. The first thing to think about is what type or style of animation we are designing for. For example, will it be for uh, traditional hand-drawn animation or, or 3D CG animation uh, cutout animation or stop-motion animation Now the reason why I ask this question is because certain types of design will suit a particular style and also from a, an optimization point of view. For example, um, we don't want to design a character that has a costume with so many little fine intricate details for a traditional animation piece. We have to remember that for traditional animation we we have to draw the character hundreds or even thousands of times and having all those details would be a nightmare to animate. But we could get away with designing a character like that for 3D CG animation or even cutout animation since we won't be drawing the character so many times. So for this tutorial I will be designing a character for traditional or traditional animation. That doesn't mean this character can't be used for other types of animation, but I will be focusing specifically for hand-drawn animation. That said, I want to keep this character very simple, but with enough details uh, to be appealing um, and simple so I can draw him many, many times. Now I do have a character in mind that I would like to design. Uh, I don't have a script or a story, so I'm just going to be making him up as I go along. Since I have nothing to go along with, I'll, I'll think about some things that I want him to be. But having a story can really help with knowing what the character is and who he is. So I'm thinking about a little monster critter type character. Um, I want him to be friendly, uh, not terrifying or scary, um, I want him to be cute, um, he's going to be short and or small. Okay so for him to be a cute character I'm thinking what types of Features are uh, considered cute. Uh, babies, for example, are considered by most as cute. They have big eyes. They've got a big head in general. Um, short limbs. and they are generally small and I think that is probably enough to get started now let's get into the fun stuff and start drawing I'll just move this up here just for reference now a good character design will have a combination of different sizes and contrast in shapes and also a good silhouette. So I'll just quickly sketch in some different types of shapes and see what I like. 
All right. Uh, let's start with uh, a triangle for a head. And maybe just a, a square for the body. And uh, short stumpy legs. And some short arms. That's not too short. Medium sized arms actually. <laughs> um, okay, let's do uh, a rectangle for a head. And a rectangle for the body. And I'll just, just round it off a bit there. Short legs like the first one. Some short arms. I'll just uh, move these over here. Um, let's uh, move on to the next one. Uh, a round ellipse for the head. Make this a, a wide body and some short stumpy legs. I think I might go for some longer arms for this one. It's not bad. And over here, let's do another one. Um, Uh, let's do an upside down triangle for this one. Just, just like so, and I might actually flip that and do a triangle for his body. Short legs. And I think I'll go for the long arms again for this one. Some rubber hose arms. Okay, now let's fill in the features. Uh, we'll just do two, two big eyes. I'll just quickly shade that in. Um, do some ears on him I'll round off the top of his head and uh, the sides and just a long mouth um, just uh, rough in the uh, the arm and his little clawy type fingers. Uh, let's see, let's do his body. Small feet. And I'll do like a, uh, on his belly, like a, kind of like a, like a lizard or an alligator and some some polka dots it's going to be a polka dot monster um, let's move on to the second one uh, I think I might go for some nice big eyes on this one um, keep them wide apart uh, yeah, I think yeah I like that just the pupils inside Unlike the first one, um, a downwards pointing mouth kind of looks a bit like a turtle actually. Um, let's do his brows. Um, flatten his head at the top. Nice big ears. playing around with different shapes 
Um, I think I might point his chin a little bit down. Uh, I'm quickly uh, feeling uh, the details here, little claws. And that, that little belly thing on him. Don't know what you call that. Yeah, add his little polka dots on there. And on to the next one. I really do like the silhouette of this one. Um, again, I think I'll do some big wide set eyes on him. I'll just shade that in, shade in the other one, uh, just do probably a little bit smaller ears on this one, nice long mouth, and I think I might add some some teeth. Some claws. Um, I think I might add some claws to his feet as well for this one. And I'll add some polka dots on him as well. I think I might actually add a, a bit of a hairdo on him as well. I actually quite like this one. It's not bad. Alright, moving on to the next one. So for this one, I'll do some big eyes as usual again. And fill in his... Uh, his pupils uh, to his brow and uh, just a flat top and I'll make his eyes puff out a little bit add a little small mouth and with, I might add a little tooth there as well. Uh, some nice long pointy ears for him. Um, add his little claw fingers. And also to his feet. Um, what else? Um, I'll round off his chin. And then I'll do his, his belly again. And then I'll add his little polka dots. Add some to his face. One up here, probably another little small one over here. Yep. Just finish off his eyes a bit here. Actually, quite like this one. Hmm. Let's have a look at all of them. Now, now I'm going to have to decide which one I like. 
Uh, this one here just looks crap. I hate it. <laughs> and I actually like these two, so I'll get rid of that one. Now I have to decide between these two. Let's see. I actually like the silhouette of uh, the last one I did. I like that. All right, now I'm, now I'm, I'm going to uh, speed this up now and um, basically what I'm doing here is um, just basically redrawing the character, doing a much more cleaner and refined version of it. Yeah, I thought the eyes were a bit small so I just scaled them up. Still being very, very loose, but um, carefully choosing my lines. So in this uh, rough stage, I'm like I said, it's bit, it's very rough. And then what I'll do is, like you see here, I, I just soften it out a bit, and then. I can actually go in and do a bit, uh, cleaner lines and just clean him up. Yeah, I decided to go for a, a bit of a, a flatter brow on top. Not as rounded as in the original sketch. And um, his legs um, kind of get thicker towards his feet. So I'm just putting in a few polka dots on him. I don't want to put too many um, because uh, it might be uh, it might get a bit too much to animate. Just try to keep it very simple. And you see here, I'm just quickly doing a value shading of him. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. And I quite like the design, and um, yeah, I quite like that. Anyways, thank you for watching uh, this tutorial on uh, character design for animation, and um, we'll move further on to the next video. Thank you.